unfaithful generation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for November the 14, 2020, according to St. Luke. On the next day, when they had come down from the mountain, a great crowd met him. Just then a man from the crowd shouted, Teacher, I beg you to look at my son. He is my only child. Suddenly a spirit seizes him, and all at once he shrieks. It convulses him until he foams at the mouth. It molds him and will scarcely leave him. I beg your disciples to cast it out, but they could not. Jesus answered, You faithless and perverse generation, how much longer must I be with you and bear with you? Bring your son here. While he was coming, the demon dashed him to the ground in convulsions. But Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit, healed the boy, and gave him back to his father. And all were astounded at the greatness of God. Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. So we have no special uh, effects today. We have, we have something very incredible. We have the apostles that were not able to cast out the demon. But then we have no special effects, no Hollywood effects. One would have thought, according to what the Roman corporation says, that there are demons that are very strong, that you can only uh, conquer them by many priests, by the prayers and whatever. But the reality is that the Lord rebukes the unclean spirit and it comes out without anything else. Nothing happened. No struggle, no shouts, no nothing. Just the obedience of the devil before God. So it makes me suspicious to read and hear about all these famous exorcists with the Roman corporation that proclaim and make a lot of money out of that, make a lot of fame, oh, that they are very strong, that they have these special uh, prayers, that they have the command of God, specially and everything else. It seems to me that it is not true. Simple. Because... It does not fit with the gospel of today. We see God simply commanding the devil and the devil leaving, as it happens everywhere in the gospel. And the same even with the apostles, the true apostles. Yet we have in the Acts of the Apostles a, a, a paragraph there where there are some that pretend to cast out demons that were not commanded by God, never given the Holy Spirit to do that. And then the devil say to them, you can look it up, look at it. The devil say to them, we know Peter, we know who Jesus is, we know Paul, but who are you? And then they beat the hell out of them. They made them run. That's what I think that happens with the Roman corporation. The Lord today is calling faithless generation. And this is very interesting, because if you suppose that you're married, okay, that you have your husband or your wife, and then you catch him or her, whatever it is that you have, being unfaithful to you, will you take him, her, to the catechism and say, oh no, you have to understand that I am here, that I am I'm, I'm real and everything. Or would you be upset because he or she went with somebody else and had in, uh, sexual intercourse with somebody else? Because that's the way that unfaithfulness truly is. And that's really what it means to God in our relation to God. It's not, a, it's not a thought. It's not a knowledge like the Gnostics would like to have it. No, it is a faithfulness. And the Lord rebukes them and is telling them, unfaithful generation, perverse. But who are these? Is he saying that because of the father that somehow believes that his son can be healed by Jesus? Or is he saying more 
because of his apostles that are not truly convinced that they have the power. Maybe one day I will talk about the first time that God put me in a situation where I had to expel a demon. Back then, I was just a Roman Catholic father deacon, and it was a really, really hard time. Now it's very different. I am a priest, or an Orthodox priest, a true Orthodox priest. It's very, very different. I, one of these days I will talk about that in detail. But it is no contest. No lo contendere. No contest. The Holy Spirit that dwells in me just drives away the demons. I only have to pray. That's all. I have to say the words that God commanded me to do, and He will do the work. There is no special effects. Nothing interesting, nothing spectacular. No. Just like that. Think carefully who you are with. Because other than the show of the theater paid for by your pastor, where somebody will just be convulsing and then he does all kinds of funny things and special effects to, to convince you that he's driving at demons. You don't know. The presence of God is very easy to identify. We know Him right away. Even since the beginning, since the first time that we meet, that we meet Him, immediately the, our soul knows who He is. But when you are in these showcases, in these theaters, you're not with God. Look, again, I invite you, come to the only church founded by the Lord, the Orthodox Church. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.